Today we're going to look at uh, cloning and mixing tracks a little bit. Uh, we're going to choose File, Import, Import Audio. And I'm just going to choose this bass loop that I downloaded from a website. Press play. Now, as you can see, that's a mono track. It's centered, so it's playing on both the left and right audio tracks or speakers. And uh, But let's say I want to make kind of a stereo where it's not playing the same out of each track or each speaker. Uh, what I'm going to do is I have this track selected. I'm going to say edit and I'm going to say duplicate. And you can see it made an exact copy of that same track. Now I can make one left and one right just by moving our pan uh, slider here. And I already have my uh, uh, envelope tool selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating a little bit of a fade in, fade out with the audio here. And then down here, I'm going to make points in the same spot, but basically do the reverse of what I did up there, making it louder where the other one's lower and lower where the other one's louder. And once again, you'll be able to hear this in the video, but basically we're gonna get kind of a fade effect. It's gonna fade back and forth between our left and right speakers. So I'll press play on that. So that's one neat little thing you can do once you clone a track that's uh, you just kind of make it more of a stereo and less of a mono sounding uh, thing. Now, um, once again, if you change your mind, you can always control Z to undo or click these little X's to remove. Uh, I do want to bring up, let me import a file again so you can see this a little bit better. I'll import uh, that same little loop. Uh, if I go file new and I create a new project, it leaves the other project open. So you can see you can have more than one project going at a time. Once again, if I hit File, New, I'll have a third window going. So don't forget that you have the ones in the background because you may not realize it and start opening up a lot of things when you're thinking the other ones are closing and might be a little taxing on your system processes. Um, so we're moving right along. And uh, I think that's, that's about it. I know this is kind of a short tutorial, but I wanted to go over that. But once again, we'll go over the whole thing again. Have a, have a track, duplicate, and then I... Just this is an example of something you can do. I basically made it a stereo sounding track by doing so. So I'll once again press play. And for me, it's fading from my, well, not in this case, I've got to move that. <laughs> now it's going to be fading from left to right and back to left. It's constantly playing uh, both speakers, but it's louder in one than the other, depending on where I have it faded at. So visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.